Welcome into the lab. Here's our Judge Dread, and Judge is in for a shop out. Everything gets taken care of here. Everything comes off. We're gonna get it down to the bare wood here. Make it beautiful. Um, there is an issue with um, a super ridiculously thin mylar that is shrinking, and um, it protected the play field, which is wonderful, but now it is shrunk and lifted, and I've chipped off a bunch of it. Oh, here's a line right here. Can you see right there? Let me see. Right there. Just a thin line. This is the uh, back edge of it. So I'll have to, um, once everything's off, figure out how to get it off and uh, get it back to just the, the beautiful art. Um, since we've had the game, I did put a strip back there of LEDs to illuminate those back areas to, that are normally super dark. Um, drop target stickers. Um, we put those on a few years back. Replace a few plastics. This one, which is notoriously broken. That's been replaced. And it feels like a heavier piece of plastic. So that's a plus. Um, ramps are in good shape. Everything's here. Um, we're going to put uh, clear silicone rings. I think light blue post sleeves. Um, yeah. It's going to be a nice looking game. It's already a great playing game other than the Dead World being uh, a little locked up there. Um, let's get to work. Tear this baby apart. We're zoomed in here at the upper portion of the play field, looking at the dead world. And it's super great eye candy. So when you're playing it and you start locking balls, um, it's a virtual ball lock. It'll come around and then the crane will help unload the dead world and drop it down back into play. But um, got to get that remedied as well as the crane. It's got a, a ball on magnet error. And you can see it's got some wonky alignment there. So I think it might be just an alignment for this. and. Uh, clean and lubricate the gearbox of the dead world but we will know in time <laughs> 